everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel. This is my Doc Your House series, Declutter, Organize and Clean episode. I'm not sure, sounds like 20, maybe 19. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, what do I have today? This is what I picked out of my little jar. It says, if it's in focus, it says kitchen cupboard. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. And um, you know, I gotta be honest, I wasn't gonna film at all this weekend. And then I realized that a lot of you are home and really looking forward to my videos to cheer you up and give you something to do and watch <laughs> while we all stuck home works. You know, a lot of us are still working, but a lot of us uh, are not. And um, you're looking forward to these type of videos and the motivation to do something. So let's stop procrastinating get ready we're going to declutter the cupboards a lot of stuff has got to go anyway so let's get going let's get motivated stop procrastinating take your step stool ladder or your chair or your stool or whatever let's go dive into the cupboards and let go of everything we have not used for years that we keep in there for just in case Okay, I'm on the step stool. Um, let's be for real. Just in case, never happens. All right, I have a ton of stuff in here. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. All right, this I'm keeping though. Uh, I give you a for instance. How many times did you see me agonize? Is my big gut showing? No. Okay. Um, Did you guys see me agonize over this set of plates? These are the Lennox Winter Greetings Every Day. Okay. I have dessert plates and I have these. And I used to have more. I have the mugs. Remember I had the mugs? I let go of the mugs. Alright. I kept it. I really can't figure out why. I used it once. That was for a party Edward had over the holidays. And that was the one time I used it um, in seven years. I have no use for it. And I mean, really, I don't. So it's going up for sale. Okay, this I'm keeping. That was given to me. It's a little creamer. And I should have the other part ready. Creamer and sugar. Uh, I'm keeping that. Okay. I have a lot of things in here. Ram cans. We use those. Little egg cobblers. Liz sent me those. I actually do like them a lot. And by the way, this is the same pattern than uh, uh, Princess Diana was using. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. What the name of the pattern is. Okay. These are my Korean teacups. I'm going to keep them. Because I like them. Okay. Here's an example. What is this thing? I could use that actually for my iron. All right. Keep. All right. Here's an example. I bought these. Uh, thinking I was going to give the kids um, hard bowl, soft bowl, eggs, whatever. Did it once, we'll never do it again. It was a big mess. I like them, but they weren't having it. So. Okay. Bowls, 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 lots of them. This one can go. If it's any sorted, it can go.
Okay, so here's the thing, right? I have all of these um, coffee cups that come with that set, my everyday China set. Uh, that's Garden Festival Stoneware Japan. The reality is that you don't really need to keep all of them on hand. Like if you only use maybe four, because you have four people in the house, just use four. The rest store them. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use that empty space now for. So it gives me more room here for... Stuff I actually use every day. Because it's not easy to reach for this stuff. I'm going to keep four. Um, when you get to move 12 cups, okay? Four is all I need. And four, okay. And I still think that's too much because I really don't use it all that much. Okay. And then over here I have this. That goes with it. And now, these Scott likes them. Look at how much he's been using those. Um, I don't need to keep them where I can reach them because I really don't use them all that much, but that's better. Okay, next. So, so far I'm letting go of all of these and you know what, while I still have a good light in the kitchen, I'm going to take pictures of them now and put them up for sale on the Facebook marketplace. Okay, so the stuff is up for sale and no regrets. Um, I mean really, what am I hanging on to it for? Okay, this is another one. Um, I have a thing for pictures. How many pictures do I need? I gotta make a decision. I have three. This one actually used to water my plants. <laughs> this one, I don't know where I got it. Probably street find. They're both street find. And this one is a street find too. But this one is a beautiful picture made in Italy. Um, I can't really sell it because, you see that? It's got a whole bunch of... Um, Phrasing and mm. I like it though. Okay, but you know what? I can't sell it. Uh, I'm just gonna keep this one and that one that I use for my plants. And when I make soup or whatever. All right, this is the popcorn thing. Um, the kids don't use it every day, but they do use it. Okay, here's something I have zero use for. That can go. We're back to the balls. Remember we did the balls last time? All right. This one, I'm, I'm keeping them. I'm definitely keeping this one. What I don't need to keep is these. How many times do you see me talk about these? These are the IKEA pasta balls. No use for them. Um, so that leaves room on here and I tell you what I can finally put up here. It's my teapot with my little creamer. My good teacup. That's the um, warmer. 
this I'm keeping, but I'm missing one. So we gotta find it now, because I have another bowl, um, a pottery bowl, I love them. But I gotta find it, hold on. Talking about this one. I'm telling you, if I see um, a nice pottery bowl, it's for me. So those can go in there. All right, that's it. And for this round, I'm letting go of these plates, this bowl, this old thing that I don't even remember what it's for. And then this guy here, he's very nice, you know, but lots of crazing. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can use it for plants or, nah, you know what? I can't sell it. I'm just going to let it go. Off it goes. What I'm trying to tell you here is that there's nothing wrong with revisiting your previous decisions or lack of decisions, you know? I mean, how many times have you seen me open my cupboards and I'm like, oh no, I'm keeping this, I'm keeping this, for whatever reason. And then I do it again and I do it again and then on the fourth turn, I'm like, yeah, you know what, Let, that can go. It's everybody has, everybody has their own pace and timeline of events, okay? Um, it's a process for me. It's always been a process. I'm trying to get you to not be discouraged just because you open your cupboards after this video and you're not able to let go of too many things. Don't feel bad. Next time around, watch how you're going to be a little bit um, decisive over what to let go of. And then the next time around, you'll make decisions in a snap. Which is what's happening with me. Granted, I've been thinking about this for a while. But this is what's happening with me. If you compare videos today with videos five years ago, I would agonize over something like this. Not able to get rid of it and let it go. I would just make all sorts of excuses and give you all sorts of reasons as to why I had to keep the item. All of this is just two cupboards and I'm letting go of all of this stuff. Um, this is already up for sale on the Facebook marketplace. This obviously I can't sell. I, what am I going to do with that? I'm going to put a box that says free and I'm going to leave it on the curb and I'm sure somebody will pick it up. This is the one cupboard I always dread doing because it's never organized properly. just needed a little bit of reorganization really um this i'm letting go of no use for it this platter i really like it but i just realized that it's a street fine it has a huge chip right here come on that can go and then uh this is a spare of the apple stuff that i'm selling um online and i have no use for it so that can go too this is my dreaded tea cupboard that constantly gets shuffled around. Um, I'm in trouble. I'm in serious trouble. Because I only have these for herbal tea. This one I didn't like at all. Uh, cranberry hibiscus robius tea that can go that's the matcha that Edward started to drink uh, these are <laughs> this is not tea this is pins <laughs> that should not be here uh, okay this is empty it will get refilled at some point 
All right, this one I oh here's my other one. Right. That's for green tea. Okay, this one, ginger sweet peach. I like that. I'm gonna put my herbal teas in my little container here. Um, this is lavender chamomile. I like that. This is fruit pebbles pineapple green tea. I like that. And that's it for herbal tea. I'm really low. Okay, what's going on here? Only a few left. Mm. This is actually pretty good, the Tower of London blend. This is uh, black tea with honey flavor. I like that. It's not as good as their Imperial Earl Grey, but it's pretty good. This is leftovers. I need to go in my tea box, which is on the other side. Okay. I like that. I like this one. Laps and Sushan. I like that. Oh, I keep it with the Asian stuff on top. Okay, now here's the problem. I have this one that I purchased in Paris and um, I don't like it. It's a green tea. Um, I don't like it. It's just, I don't know. My Earl Grey French Blue. Barely have any left. This one, I barely have any left. This one's still good. That's my favorite one. Mm. Keep that. This is not bad. That's a Harrods Winter Blend. Um, it's got spices in it. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Keep that. Isn't that something? How much of uh, reduced? The amount of tea I used to have compared to what I used to have. Look at this. I have all of this almost empty. Okay, so that's good. I'm letting go of this one. It's a huge step for me. Um, it is. But I'm letting go because I'm not drinking it. I didn't like it. Okay. All of this can go. of all of this that's not too bad right and it took about 30 minutes um yeah i'm done so i'm gonna let you go and um i don't even know what time it is it's 4 30 on a sunday um just giving you an update on what's going on here it's really bad in jersey guys um i'm sure you're watching the numbers um but i realized that the numbers are going to continue to go up until they stop going up and they're going to go up for a while. Um, so if you're experiencing anxiety over this, um, my advice to you, step away from the news. Like really, step away from the news. Sometimes ignorance is bliss um, because the numbers are only going to go up for a while, for at least two or three more weeks, if not more. And we're going to be in this situation for quite some time. There's no April 15 surprise. Um, we're in here for in, in this doo-doo until mid-July, 
if not August. Um, and it sounds pessimistic, but I, I think it's fairly accurate as an assessment. So if you find yourself at home and you're very anxious and, and you're fearful of what's going on, you got to remember that the news job is to sell news. And the only way they can do that is by making the news appealing. It's always bad news. It's always sens sensationalism. Um, you know, a good a cotton sheets bad for you. Find out when we return type stuff. Okay, so the news is not in the business of making you feel better. I'm just saying, you know, they're only gonna show you the worst case scenario. They're gonna scare you. If you're anxious and fearful about the situation right now, please step away from the news for a while. So step away from the news and go back to doing things you used to enjoy, okay? Uh, a lot of people are stuck at home right now. Please take this time. If you're not working from home, please take this time to picking something of um, a hobby, something you've wanted to do. All those projects you've put on the back burner, now is the time to do it. Nurture yourself, make the most out of the time. Don't waste this opportunity. I know it's scary, I know we're all anxious, I know we're all fearful for our future and our children's future and the future of the planet in general. But sitting in a chair, watching the news and worrying about the world right now is doing nothing for you. It really isn't. Or your family. You have people to take care of. Women, moms, we have to be beacons in this. We have our job is to cheer up everybody, rally everybody in the house, be creative, find things to do, pull out those board games that are catching dust in the garage, Go in the attic, find old stuff that were yours when you were a kid and spend the time showing that to your family. Spend time together. Hey, look, this is our, these are the toys I used to have. Like, I'm giving you an example. Spend quality time with your family. Take this opportunity to reassess what's important in life, what you value the most, what you cherish, and take this opportunity to let go of what is no longer important, what you no longer value. Now is the time to do some soul searching. I'm telling you, this time we are given right now is an opportunity for us to make some personal changes and not just for ourselves, but for our family as well and our household. So this doc series came at the right time for a lot of us. Let's do it. Take the time to declutter, finally make decisions as to what you want in your house, do some cleaning. Some of you may be wondering why I didn't clean anything in this video. Well, I don't really need to because look at my kitchen right now. It's like, it's super clean. I don't need to do the shelves or anything in the cupboard because I did that maybe a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so it's all good. But take this opportunity. I am telling you, this is a gift. Don't look at it as a catastrophe. This is a gift use it. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye!